hello YouTube and welcome to your seventh Google Chrome extension development tutorial and in this tutorial we'll be developing a fancy toolbar for your Google Chrome browser now Google Chrome basically does not provide any specific APIs to develop any toolbar like this one the bookmarks one down here but we can use a workaround and sort of a hack to insert a toolbar a custom toolbar with any contents in it on every page user visits with the help of your extension so let's go ahead and create that first of all to do that this is our previous extensions code from the last tutorial and in this extension we don't need this URL overrides the background scripts and the content scripts would be okay. Uh, let's use jQuery to simplify the code. And yeah, we're good to go. And uh, the one thing we need to use is <coughs> down here in your manifesto JSON. Now we'll uh, declare something called web accessible resources. Now what it does is, supposingly we want to insert our toolbar from toolbar.html. Now in your content script when you type like iframe src toolbar.html, now what it does is this code down here would be relative to your page inside which the iframe is inserted now we don't want that because we have our own toolbar.html so by declaring down here this code would actually look for something chrome extension and then your local path and then toolbar.html so we need to actually declare everything down here in the web accessible resources we which which we want to use in the content scripts and which would be available for the user to see so let's declare another thing which is style.css and let's put it css down here as style.css and what does that mean is just like in content scripts the js included here would run on every page this wildcard the style sheets down here would run on every this page every uh, page which matches this wildcard so let's create a style sheet first just name it style.css uh, let's create a toolbar file then and uh, notice that I'm not using the style file down here to link with this toolbar file I'm using the style file to style the iframe we are gonna embed in the page. So in the myscript.js, which is our content script, let's close the unwanted files. Okay, now in the myscript, which is a content script, let's create an iframe kind of string. So let's do it iframe src. Uh, now down here let's get the URL of the toolbar.html file first to do that we use the chrome api chrome.extension.get url notice the syntax because it has to be exact same and in the parenthesis pass the file name you want to retrieve and now in url we have the local url of this toolbar.html file and now we can use it in iframe <coughs> So let's use the src as URL and now we have ID of let's say my own custom first toolbar and make sure you give it a very very unique ID which is possibly not to be find found on any page because if you give a similar ID and to the page which already has it and the CSS clashes then your styles could be overwritten by the default CSS of the page so I have given this very unique ID to this 
and I don't hope any page on the internet would be using this ID and now let's close this iframe now we are good to go and just a couple of more things we'll be applying the height of this iframe dynamically and I'll tell you the reason why we have the height down here and uh, let's do it dynamically uh, let's create a variable height let's give it to let's say 35 pixel okay so I have created this height dynamically in the iframe because we have to use this height down here for one another task and I'll tell you what it is now first of all let's go to style.css and let's style this toolbar now we want to give it a position of absolute if you want to make this a sticky toolbar then you can go and fix this position down here position fix but I'll just make it on the top then we have top 0 left 0 width 100% and height we have as, well as already given and now we have the task over for now and let's give it a background of black so that it's visible and color white okay now if I just simply do like iframe dot append and body then what would happen is it would over appear over the content and would basically block the content so let's go to Google let's see what happens our wildcard matches Google as well because it matches every HTTP and HTTPS page and let's see okay we have iframe oops this should be body dot append iframe let's try again reload refresh and here we go you can see this top bar this is actually our own custom iframe now what's happening here is we are actually hiding this content of gmail and it looks pretty awkward because we don't want to stop the rendering of the original web page so what we need to do is we want to shift the body down to some extent but since we are already appending iframe to body we need to do to append this iframe to the HTML of the code and then we can shift the body using translate y now the reason I'm using translate y is because using this we could actually shift the fixed elements of the page as well so let's try and let's apply the CSS and let's give it transform and the value as translate translate y and the height would be the height we have given in the above variable so okay so we have the CSS down here on the body and I don't think many of the sites would be using transform on their body itself and translate Y and if you want more then we can use actually a WebKit keyword but that doesn't matter because Google already supports the translate or basically the transform property without the WebKit and if you are worrying about the the layout and the DOM and the standard of the HTML that then don't worry because we are creating this page dynamically and this would not appear if you do access this page from any other page which does not has any other computer which does not has this extension installed so now we are ready to go and we have shifted the body down the height of the iframe so now let's reload this extension and let's see what happens Oh, 
sorry we don't need a semicolon down here let's reload this code try again and here you go now we have this pretty awesome iframe embedded but still black and nothing visible on it so let's open our toolbar.html file and add some content down here okay so now we have this document and uh, let's say hello world down here let's reload this and see if something's live as you can see the iframe is actually black so let's change the oh, let's oh, basically let's do some internal styles let's say body should be color white now basically the styles we are applying here applied to its parent which is actually an iframe so these styles would not be inherited by the original page let's remove the color we don't need here uh, let's give the border as zero uh, let's give a toolbar a light shade because we don't want it to appear absolute dark black color and I'll use this feature of Chrome, the color selector, or basically the background one. And I guess this looks cool. Let's convert it to hex value. And I'll just copy and paste this. Pretty simple. Now we are when done with the styles reload this extension and uh, let's reload this page and we get a sweet hello world popped up down here now inside this toolbar.html file you can use literally anything you want because this is a normal HTML file embedded like a toolbar in every page uh, you can customize this HTML file file just like you customize a normal HTML file so here we have our toolbar ready and we can do like margin zero or anything you can create your own search boxes and pass the information to the content scripts create your own buttons social profiles ad blockers or anything special or unique you think you can put in the toolbar <coughs> so this was a tutorial on creating your custom toolbar in google chrome with the help of your extension and the next tutorials I don't know we'll be discussing something more interesting about Chrome extensions but stay tuned till then and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching